I think so. I think cheap natural gas will hinder the development of nuclear. It has for the last dozen years, actually right. 15 years now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, since, since 2007, when gas prices tanked during the global financial crisis. Right. Or maybe that was the summer of 2008. Sometimes my history is a little yeah, bit Yeah. I, I, I think it was eight, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So, so gas prices are cheap. And they definitely have impacted nuclear, and they will impact nuclear as long as they're cheap and there's no price on carbon. Right. However, I am skeptical about the fact that they, about the predictions of them remaining cheap. Yeah. Partly because I remember being very interested in natural gas prices in the 1990s, watching gas prices from 91 to 96 dropped from $4 a million BTU down to about a dollar and a half. And then having people proclaim through 1999 that gas prices were going to remain low. And the Energy Information Agency said that they're going to increase at slightly below the rate of inflation from 1999 at the $1.60 million BTU. Right. What were they in 2008 when they crashed? Over yeah. twelve dollars a million BTU. Yeah, that, that was what I was going to say. I knew it was over. It was over. It was over ten. I knew. I knew it was over ten dollars, and that's the that's the worry. Twelve dollars but... was the that was the electric generation price. Other people were paying as much as fifteen dollars a million BTU for wholesale prices. Right. So, the what's happening in the natural gas world today? I'm a I'm a big fan of Adam Rosenswag and yeah, uh, right. Goring. Yeah, you know they're real bullish on gas prices, uh, and of course, bullish on gas prices means they're betting they're going to go up. Right. Uh, partly because of things like, in the next year, the U.S. LNG export capacity is going to increase by fifty percent. Right. And that means that instead of in exporting ten percent of our production, we're going to be exporting fifteen percent of our production. Yeah. So that starts to increase the or change the supply demand balance. There's also an indication in some among some people that we've been doing really well in fracking and, and making fracking look more and more efficient. Right. By focusing on the most productive areas of the various reservoirs. You can only do that for so long before the most productive areas are no longer the most productive areas right because you suck the gas out so how much longer are we going to be able to maintain our current production who knows you have to keep drilling you have to keep drilling a lot to maintain production 